Get your COVID-19 booster. That's the message from California health leaders for all adults. This week, the state's top health officials told anyone 18 and older who received their last dose six months ago to get a booster if they wanted one. It's a move that puts California ahead of the recommendations of the federal government. The CDC and FDA have only approved booster shots to those considered most at risk. But as KCRA3's Melanie Wingo explains, getting a booster is not as easy as just making an appointment online. This week, Californians interested in getting COVID-19 booster shots heard promising news from the state's top public health official. If you think you will benefit from getting a booster shot, I encourage you to go out and get it supplies available. Dr. Mark Galley telling people across the state there's plenty of doses to go around at thousands of sites all over California. According to the Department of Public Health, booster shots can be taken by anyone who's received their primary series of the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine at least six months ago. Public health officials say those who received the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine at least two months ago are also good to get a booster shot. It's not too late to get it this week, get that added protection for the Thanksgiving gatherings that you may attend. Certainly going into the other winter holidays, it is important. Even though it may be time for you to get a booster shot, getting an appointment online may be a challenge for some people. Starting at California's My Turn website, the vaccine scheduling system, I tried booking a booster shot appointment. After putting in a bit of information, I'm told I'm not eligible at this time. Same deal on the pharmacy websites for CVS, Rite Aid and Walgreens and the Kaiser Permanente patient website. All of those sites indicating I'm not eligible at this time based on Centers for Disease Control and Prevention booster eligibility guidelines. If you're going by CDC guidance, people eligible for booster shots have to be at least 65 or older or at least 18 years old, living in a long-term care setting, coping with underlying medical conditions, working or living in a high-risk setting or at increased risk because of social inequity. We reached out to the California Department of Public Health for clarification of Dr. Galley's statements earlier this week, but we did not hear back. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Public health experts say people who are fully vaccinated are still strongly protected against hospitalization and death from COVID-19, but immunity can against infection can wane over time.